am Zane Warson, Wildlife Guru, here to bring you another episode of Weekly Wildlife. Today I'm here in Holane National Park in Southern Africa, and right behind me, in this tree, lies one of the most peculiar and exotic birds found here, the Hornbill. When you think of African wildlife, iconic animals such as lions, elephants, rhinos, and giraffes almost always come to mind. We rarely consider the incredible diversity of bird species that call Africa home. On my trip to South Africa, I encountered some of the most colorful, unique, and astonishing birds I had ever seen. Take South Africa's birds of prey. Sparrowhawks glide across the savannas in search of small prey, their sharp eyes alert to any movement in the grass. Meanwhile, vultures sit in the treetops waiting to scavenge prey from larger predators. But the most majestic of South Africa's birds of prey were the eagles. Tawny eagles and martial eagles rest in the treetops before taking to flight in search of prey. These massive birds are large enough to actually hunt monkeys and small wildcats. And the most iconic eagle, the African fish eagle, sits on tree branches overlooking the water as to hunt large fish. These powerful predators have been known to capture fish over four pounds in weight. On the African savanna, some of the most seemingly boring birds are quite interesting. These tiny gray birds are called oxpeckers, and while it may seem like they're sitting on a rock, they're actually sitting on top of a rhino! This is beneficial to both animals, for the rhino's skin is covered in ticks and parasites, and the oxpeckers find these delicious! In this way, the rhino gets its skin cleaned, while the oxpeckers get a tasty snack. Unfortunately, these little birds can get a bit clingy. This Cape Buffalo is madly trying to shake an oxpecker off its head, but this flitty little bird refuses to leave. Finally, the buffalo tries one last huge head swing, to which the oxpecker boomerangs straight back to the buffalo's head. At last, the buffalo gives up and goes back to grazing. Many of South Africa's birds have bright colors or plumage displays to impress mates, such as starlings. Spurfowl and guinea fowl, magpie shrikes, gray go away birds, yes, that is their actual name, and bee eaters. But the most colorful bird in South Africa is definitely the lilac breasted roller. These birds provide a sparkle of color to the savannah with their beautiful colors and get their name from the acrobatic rolls and dives they perform in the air to impress their mates. Lilac-breasted rollers were one of my favorite animals I saw on my trip, and certainly the most breathtaking. The prize for most unique bird, however, goes to the various hornbill species of Southern Africa. There are a few different species of hornbill in South Africa, such as red-billed hornbills and southern yellow-billed hornbills. These birds have huge yellow beaks, which look like quite an ordeal to handle while flying. So why do they have them? Well, much of the hornbill's range exists in the hot Kalahari Desert, so to cool off, they dissipate heat by dilating blood vessels in their beaks. While in Shlane National Park in Swaziland, I witnessed hornbills cumbersomely hopping from branch to branch, pausing every so often to preen themselves along the way. Sometimes, however, they leave the trees and bounce along the ground in search of lizards and scorpions, some of their main sources of food. In Kruger National Park in the neighboring country of South Africa lives one of the rarest and most endangered of any hornbill, the Southern Ground Hornbill. Ground hornbills can fly but only in short bursts, so spend most of their time foraging for food on the ground. These hornbills are in danger of going extinct due to habitat destruction and hunting. Ground hornbills are slow and docile, so make easy prey for hunters. Also, they breed once every three years, further decreasing the population. Luckily, time is on their side, for they can live up to 40 years! 
In conclusion, the birds of South Africa are a diverse array of unique characters, each suited for a different role in the African savanna. Some, like African fish eagles, are aerial predators, while others, like oxpeckers, form incredible symbiotic relationships with other animals. Furthermore, birds like lilac-breasted rollers inspire viewers with their beautiful colors, and hornbills draw an attention with their seemingly perplexing beak. Finally, round hornbills remind us that the world they call home is quickly deteriorating. Unique and interesting birds like themselves and the fragile ecosystem they rely on is on the brink of extinction, which is why we need to learn and teach about these incredible creatures so that they can survive to awe and inspire for years to come.